There are enough fat tire e-bikes on the market today to make your head spin. So in this video, I hope to help guide your search with my experience on many fat tire e-bikes. And if you do plan to purchase any of the models we talk about today, check out the links in the description to help support the channel and maybe save yourself some money too with discount codes. Thanks for your support. And be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video where I'll tell you my favorite fat tire e-bike out of the bunch and why. First, we have two models that are not only the ones I recommend the most, but are also the models I see people purchase the most. Firstly, the Rad Power Bikes Rad Rover 6 Plus. If you've done any digging into e-bikes, you're bound to have come across the brand Rad Power Bikes. The company has raised over $300 million and has sold the most electric bikes in North America. Back in fall, they announced a more premium model of their flagship bike, the Rad Rover. And there's a lot to like. A newly geared motor that performed surprisingly well in our hill climb test, the new 14 amp hour semi-integrated battery, not only for the looks, but also for usability. The battery pops out with a key instead of slides. There are not one, but two LCD screens, which while still monochrome, prioritize user friendliness. And finally, my favorite, the hydraulic disc brakes. They feel better, aren't quite as finicky as mechanical, and also just feel nice on the handlebars. And as Rad tends to do, they released a matching step-through version to make a fat tire e-bike accessible to a wider range of riders. Check out our high step versus step-through comparison video to get a feel for the sizing. The nice thing about Rad is there is a enormous customer support team to help solve any issues that might happen along the way. Rad also has a mobile service team for test rides, maintenance and assembly, and delivery. Rad is an easy brand for me to recommend due to their accessibility. All of Rad Power Bikes e-bikes are class two e-bikes, so a top speed of 20 miles per hour while pedaling or using the right hand twist grip throttle. The power delivery is also well thought out. So you ease into it in the lower pedal assist levels and have the option of still hitting 20 miles per hour if you choose. Next we have the Aventon Adventure, also released in 2021. Aventon opted for a clean look on the Adventure and the 15 amp hour battery is housed directly into the frame. The company came out with both a high step and step through model and even better, the high step model is offered in three different sizes and the step through is offered in two different sizes. The color options are well done and the smooth welds on the Aventon Adventure give it a premium look. Just generally, frame design and overall aesthetics of Aventon e-bikes is one of the things that sets them apart. A color LCD is centered and you can even pair the bike with your phone. A 750 watt sustained, 1130 watt peak motor will power you up to 27 miles per hour, though you need to change some settings in your display to do so. It comes shipped as a class two e-bike. You'll also find hydraulic disc brakes, a left hand thumb throttle, metal fenders, and front and rear lights. The rear light is even built right into the frame. There are Aventon dealerships across the United States, which is nice for test riding and maintenance. Next, we have the Turboant Nebula N1. This one is included mainly for its price. With my code in the description, this fat tire e-bike costs just $11.99. It has many of the same features you'll find on other mid-price fat tire e-bikes, say in the $1,500 to $1,700 price point. Now Turboant isn't as well known as a company as the previous two brands, and that's probably where you'll find some differences. The company is trying to outcompete on price. And hey, if you're on a strict budget, then there just isn't much of anything with these specs at this price. The e-bike has a Bafang 750 watt motor, Shimano components, Tektro mechanical disc brakes. It even has a 14 amp hour integrated battery a surprising feature at this price. You get a basic display and a right hand twist grip throttle. Let's keep on the budget trend with the Pasilek GS9 Plus. I question a bit the company's attention to detail with including both the wrong shifter and derailleur on the unit I received. And after our review went live, it seemed that we might have the wrong controller as well. But if the company strains things out, the $14.99 price point with my discount code is a pretty good deal. It's a full suspension e-bike that has hydraulic disc brakes, 
While the integrated 14 amp hour battery adds to the clean look and makes the battery hard to steal, it's annoying to remove. Let's move on and talk about the beast, the Psy Rusher XF900. It's one of those e-bikes that turns heads with its double crown air suspension fork. It tips the scale at the most expensive e-bike on this list, but you can save $100 with my link. This e-bike boasts 1500 watts of peak power and hit 30 miles per hour in our testing. Yowza! You get an externally mounted 17 amp hour battery, hydraulic disc brakes, rear suspension as well, and an unnecessary front derailleur. It even has a loud horn to alert everyone of your presence if they didn't already see you with the out loud frame design. It's a big frame meant for taller riders. We'll throw this one out as our most unique fat tire e-bike on the list. Next we have the Magicycle Cruiser and the Magicycle Cruiser Step Through, which is really a mid-step. This is a company that came out with an e-bike that looks almost identical to another e-bike we'll talk about in a second. Their marketing strategy was to launch with an almost too good to be true price on a fat tire e-bike. This got everyone, including many YouTube channels, talking about the bike. Prices have increased since then, but it's still priced pretty well. In our testing, the e-bike performed as expected, save for the brakes, which have now been replaced with better, tried and true Tektro mechanical disc brakes. You get a 52 volt, 15 amp hour battery, which is a large capacity when you consider the price. It has a 750 watt motor, which peaks higher. This e-bike comes fully accessorized with the rear rack, and you also get a top tube bag. A nice color LCD allows you to customize the percentage of power you get at the various pedal assist levels. You'll also find a Shimano shifter and derailleur and a right hand twist grip throttle. Finally, we have Himaway, which I haven't yet reviewed, but at one point had the phrase only fat tires as part of their marketing. And they've really held firm on that to date. This is the company that called out Magicycle for copying their website and also taking some heavy inspiration from their popular model, the Himaway Cruiser. I'm not going to get in the middle of that debacle, but Himaway deserves to be on this list if for only the amount of fat tire e-bikes they've sold and their immense focus on the segment. They have the Cruiser, which really started it all for the company, but now have the recently announced Zebra, Cobra, and Cobra Pro, which have bigger batteries and some higher quality components. In addition, they have smaller size fat tire e-bikes with the Escape and the Big Dog. Check out the links in the description to help support the channel. Thanks in advance for your support. Using our links before purchase, not YouTube ad revenue, keeps us making videos like this one. And while I've ridden quite a few fat tire e-bikes, there are so many more on the market. Tell me about your favorite in the comment section below, and we'll see about getting some more fat tire e-bikes to review. Okay, so now on to my favorite fat tire e-bike. It has to be the Rad Rover 6 Plus. I'm a little biased since I also run the Rad Owners Forum and our very first e-bike was a Rad Power Bike, but I really like the new features. Plus I prefer the right hand twist grip throttle and the Rad accessories. The rear rack works with our Thule Yup Maxi Child Seat and we've been utilizing the front rack with the front basket as well for additional storage. And finally, just a PSA, keep in mind some of these fat tire e-bikes, but not all, push the boundaries of what might be considered a class two or class three e-bike with their extra powerful motors and the throttle being available over 20 miles per hour. Off-road use only, as they say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.